up into another awesome kettlebell workout called EOS. This is a mobility, cardio and endurance workout. Not an awesome workout, very tough, but it's been split up into the right way. And if you want a workout that uh, has the warm up in it, this is it. You know, we use the task one and two for the warm up for us. And then we got mobility routines in there as well, stretching, pauses, but don't confuse those as easy because it's four minutes of working on your body. And because it's not easy, I also put some rest before and after so that you can get into the next task, which is with heavy weights and give it your all. We got several tasks. We're working with single kettlebell and we're starting with the first task without kettlebell. So that's going to be our warm up. Task one is two minutes of work, cross knee to elbow, alternating, and then alternating Frankenstein kicks into arms overhead. So you just repeat that for two minutes. This is unscored. Task one. Task two is part of your scoring. Two jumping jacks, one squat, one push-ups, perform four minutes and rep. This is also part of your warm-up. At least we're gonna use it as part of our warm-up, but also to set up good scoring. Then one minute of rest. Then task three is a mobility routine. Perform that for four minutes. The mobility routine is downward dog into runner's lunge, with thoracic rotation into a split lunge and arms overhead. And then you repeat it on the other side. Really great to open up your chest, work on the hips, shoulders, everything. So that's the mobility routine that we do for four minutes. Then one minute rest. Then we get task four, which is also part of your scoring. And I'll explain the scoring in a bit. We're doing six minutes AMRAP, which means as many rounds as possible, single kettlebell work, bend over row, hang lift into hang clean and press, reverse Turkish get up. Repeat that combo for the full six minutes as many times as possible. Then one minute rest, then four minutes of the mobility routine, then one minute rest. Yes, rest, because even that mobility routine required some effort and the next task is hard. So I put in some rest, then we get task six, the final task, which is 100 hard style snatches. You got a six minute time cap to get that work done. And you can switch as many times as you want. You can put the weight down as long as you get those 100 snatches done within the six minutes. Now, the weight needs to be heavier than task four. So you need to be smart with picking your weight. The scoring equals the reps from task two plus task four times the weight used in task six. That's how you calculate your scoring. Now, the scoring only counts if task six is completed successfully. So you need to get those 100 reps done within the six minutes. what do you think? Yeah, it was good. Good combination of everything. Um, the Turkish get up, which was good because it helps to open everything up, like your hips and your shoulder stability and that. And then you um, go into that last task, which I found was the toughest task um, with the heart style snatch, which I'm still trying to get used to um, with that. But over time, I will improve on that. Yeah. yeah, so really, we're working on the hips, we're working on the shoulders here. You're working on some endurance, you got your cardio. Everything that you really need is in this workout. Have a go at it and just do it once. You plan it again, do better. And make sure that you check out the alternatives and progressions and how to adjust the programming so that you can adjust the workout to suit you. You know, this is what we do. It might not be the right amount of reps or time for you. So check out those videos and we explain exactly how to adjust it for you.